Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon! Hey! Leave Joyce out of this! I wish you'd leave Joyce! Like now! Seeing uh, this kind of uh, family violence and uh, it's, it's something you can have encounter as a player. I think we all know some people who got some difficulties and you can have by yourself also. Here, the choice you're going to take uh, will have consequences uh, on the relation between Max and Chloe, but also uh, about, uh, on uh, uh, his her father. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. Da David hard. could seem very archetypal. Yes, and, uh, again, uh, yeah, one dimension at the, at the beginning, but, but then we are uh, making, yeah, making Episode after world. episode, you can see that maybe he's, he's very... Uh, he's got his own reason oh, to be like this. Shows. And I, I think at that not at any moment we are justifying the fact that it could be Chloe or be or be how, he, how it is, but just showing a perspective that not everything is black or white. So we did a lot of research to be sure that we were we were dealing with with those themes in in a good way. Too much gamifying this, we could really maybe hurt some people. And uh, if we are talking about issues those people have had, and not not making it right, it could be worse, and it couldn't be the opposite of what we wanted to do at first. So here is a Kate character that you have met uh, in the first episode, but not so much. And the episode two is really focused on Kate and Kate's story and Kate difficulties. So but this scene is a, is, a, is a good way again to how we try to advance the story about Kate, but also try to show more of the other characters, Victoria and Taylor. So we are continuing of what was shown about Victoria in episode one, like, of course, that she's uh, really a mean person, that she was, uh, she's harassing Kate uh, because she makes fun of her. Um, and so this kind of scene, yes, is, a, is we are really trying to advance the story, bring bring out more of the characters, and of course, there is great, great cameras on it. All over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. Uh, we wanted really to talk about the, all the cyberbullying, the fact that it's quite difficult for a teenager nowadays to to be connected as uh, everyone is uh, now. I, I think the game, everyone yeah. has got a, a phone, a uh, is connected uh, always. We are um, using the text message a lot and we are making fun yeah. with that. So we are really thinking about the both sides of the, of the social but media. On, on the other end, you've got this dark aspect uh, yeah. of internet which could be really really right. uh, difficult to live i think a, a lot of uh, player could recognize some of them inside uh, inside kate and we, we've received a lot of letters from uh, from players who say that that's helped us also to realize uh, what they've been through yeah we wanted to have this scene since the beginning we are quite happy that we managed to we keep managed it to and keep uh, it. work with Square Enix was great for that. We, we managed to keep a lot of difficult scenes uh, like this one. Oh, it's um, not only uh, about talking about the themes, it's also to be sure that it's anchored inside our story. And here, of course, this experience and the Kate story will uh, push Max to think about our power, to think about the consequences, to yeah. think about the relation and, with other characters. That's actually the one time in, in the game where Max's power fails her. So when you when you arrive on the roof, you you are really by yourself. You have to to talk Kate out of jumping, and um, and this was also the second part of what we wanted to do with this theme is to show that if you care to to the people you like, you can you can help them, and that's basically what Max has to do as it at this moment is really to to care about Kate to 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 show her that she, she knows she knows her, that she's her friend, and to really take out of, of, of jumping. I think that's something that was interesting on writing all this, these scenes, and is even in, in episode one, you know, Kate was, was written as a, again, some, somehow a sort of, of archetype. She's a bit religious, she's a, a for abstinence, she has this uh, basically pro-life uh, ideas. So maybe some of the players could think that she's boring character like but the way we evolved her and write her in the other episode we really wanted to show that even if you go past the first appearance of someone that's something that you might feel uh, not interesting or different to you 
you can find really uh, good things and interesting things in, in each person. And uh, I was really happy the way that the, the community reacted to, to Kate as a, as a character. We didn't want to to gamify this kind of thing. We still have to, to have rules for how, how the things, even if it needs to be really in the background and for the player to not to, to see those rules. But at, in the end, we still need to to create the scene with with the scripting and, and a way to make it work. So it was really hard to find the good balance to to make it feel the more transparent as possible for the player and just find the good way to have the feeling that it's really a dialogue between between Max and Kate. And it was a really hard one to write. There is a lot of branches, there's a lot of variations. Uh, and I think even in the voice recording, it took, took a really long time. Yeah. It was one full session just for um, uh, Hannah and Diane, who play who plays Kate, uh, it was really important for us to keep this going after in the other episode, and not just okay, we have done the scene, and so mm. no, we, we we go to the to the next to the following of the game. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty, even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many we wanted to talk about this team, this theme of, of euthanasia, uh, but but to find a way to talk about it uh, that would be respectful for any sort of position. Because yeah, it was really important to to not try to to say this is right, this is wrong, and and to let the the player uh, exp really see how he wants to 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 play this scene at this moment based on what he felt for for the situations for Chloe, for her parents, and everything. And that was quite. Yeah. That was not easy to find to find this balance when, and, when doing that. And again, it's because it's interactive and it's a video so game that this scene is so strong. I think if you just see a scene and just okay, this is the, the director point of view, and that's it. I, I accept it or not. But here it will be your choice. You really have to take your time and think about it before making your choice. So and we've seen all kind of reactions. We've seen players who immediately say. No, I can't do it. Or, or other player we immediately, immediately accept what Chloe is asking. Of course, it's Chloe. I'm, I'm accepting. And a lot of others were hesitating for five, ten minutes or so. And I think that we've been. I, I like that we did that, but we've been a bit mean to the player because we we give them a third choice of maybe I cannot take any choice on this, but then you have still to take a choice. Yeah. But it was. I think it was strong because it was. What we wanted to do with that is to show that at a point you have to to take to responsibility for your actions and decide something. You cannot get an easy way out.